All right. Hey, guys, did you notice we put your names right in front of you? Isn't that cool? You see that? Did you notice that? Okay. All right, let's give it up. Black Diamond, Denise Walsh. Hi, guys. I want to talk to you today about momentum. Does anybody want to experience momentum in their business this year? Yeah, me too. So, momentum is created by taking massive action in one direction for a long period of time. But what I have found is that most people don't even know what direction to take because they don't know what they want. Or they're so stuck, they don't even know where to start. Any time that I felt stuck in my business or my check has plateaued or even dropped, I can link it back to this one thing. Lack of personal vision. Personal vision is when you have such a clear picture in your, of your future that it produces this passion. It lights a fire inside where you know this is where I'm supposed to go and this is what I was made to do. If you have ever felt stuck in your business, this is what you are missing. So I want to do a little demonstration. Because you know we can't just talk. You got to do something. So I want you guys to relax your shoulders. Put your feet on the ground. Okay. Even at home. All right. I'd like you to close your eyes. Imagine you are standing in the middle of a small rooftop on the tallest building, like the Empire State Building. Now, look down at your feet in your mind's eye and notice what you're standing on. Then imagine looking up and seeing what time of day it is. As you look up, you notice what the weather is like. Are there any sounds up there? Do you hear traffic noises, helicopters? Whatever it might be, notice what you hear. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to walk to the edge of the terrace. I want you to realize that there's no railing at the edge of this. So very slowly and carefully, Walk over to the edge of this roof. When you get to the edge, put your toes right up against the edge and look down. As you're looking down, way down, you can see little tiny dots of people and cars. Notice what you feel in your body. Now, allow yourself to walk or crawl back to the edge of the, or the middle of the roof. And when you get back to the middle, open your eyes and come back into this room. By show of hands, how many of you felt something during that exercise? Isn't that interesting? So where was your body? Here, right? But what was your body responding to? Your thoughts, and a little bit deeper, your visualizations. And who created that image? You did. So who created the experience you just had in your body? You did. Isn't that interesting? You're physically here, yet your body and your thoughts and feelings evoke an emotion in your body. Let's think about this in terms of your life. Where do you want to be at this time next year? Let's think about conference 2018. Leaders, pick your section. How many team members do you want to have here next year? Who wants to be in the top 100? <laughs> top 10? How many of you, how, where do you, <laughs> like they're still like, yeah, me. Um, how many of you want to pay, you know, pay off debt, move into your dream home? <laughs> See, these are the types of questions I asked myself the year that we went Black Diamond. I said, what do I want? Why do I want it? And am I willing to go to do the work in order to get there? 
I created a long bucket list of things I wanted to see, do, and have, and I put dates next to when I wanted to accomplish them. We even got our team involved. We created a leadership event set in the year 2025, and everyone came dressed as the person they wanted to be in 10 years. Some people came with their dream homes on their phone, and they talked to them about how they just moved in. Some people talked about the mission trips they went to Africa. Uh, some were beach bums because they were retired. Some people wrote books that turned into movies. I came with a business card that said, it works, first triple black diamond, international speaker, trainer, and New York Times best-selling author, as seen on Oprah's Favorite Things and American Ninja Warrior, <laughs> world-renowned basketball mom, loving, uh, loving wife, and devoted philanthropist. And then we even had this TED Talk badge made, and I talked about how I came back from my first event and my talk went viral. It was awesome. <laughs> this is who I began to see myself as. I was calling things out that are not as if they are. <laughs> Do you have a clear vision of where you are going or of who you are supposed to be? Today, I have visions of us flying to Asia, and we, are fly and we meet our new ambassador team who happen to be fully coded to us, Woo! and we meet them, and we say, nice to meet you. You know, I have clear visions of where I want to go. I have such, I, I paint a picture in my mind of what I want to do that I am so stinking excited to take massive action in that direction because I know where I am going. I am excited to do power hours. I'm excited to follow up with leads. I'm excited to book parties. I'm excited to chart like in, you're blue in the face, right? Because I know where I am going. So what I want you to do is picture yourself up here on stage getting your ambassador award. Better yet, I want you to picture your team up on stage getting their ambassador awards. And you know what you're doing? You're down there bawling your eyes out, taking pictures because you know how hard they worked and you know what this means for their family. Yeah. Now, I want you to picture yourself doing all the work that it's gonna take to get there. Booking five parties a week, going to one team, one missions, charting, um, doing team training, Zooms back to back, you know, and you are loving every minute of it. Visualization accelerates achievement. Did you know that your subconscious cannot differentiate between a real and an imagined event? So when you are flooding your mind with things that you want, it like has to happen. Your brain has to figure out a way to make it work. It's like a law. It's the way God made us. And did you know that when we say you become what you think about, you physically become what you think about? That when you're thinking negative or worry thoughts, your brain neurons start to wilt and die. And then when you're thinking positive, life-affirming thoughts, these neurons are alive and active. This is the way we are wired. So it is my hope that you take this knowledge and you move it from your head into your heart, and that you use it as fuel to light that fire in your belly, to propel you to take massive action, to create momentum for your life and for your business. Because knowledge is power. And now you know. You become what you think about. Think about who you want to become. Let's give it up, Denise Walsh.